What's up guys, Aaron Bennett here. In this video talking about Celsius Network, I'm coming to you from a black rifle coffee shop somewhere in Northern Utah. What I wanna talk about are four things happening right now in the Celsius world. The first one is the US trustee appointing an independent examiner on the 14th, then talking about the lack of transparency within Celsius, then talking about will our info be redacted or will it all be public when the schedules comes out, and then can Celsius safely even store our crypto? All of this having to do with if chapter 11 will even continue or will we maybe just go into a chapter 7 liquidation and honestly would that be better right now? So I'm going to cover all of that in this video. So right here the first thing I want to cover is the U.S. trustee said on September 14th 2022 so that is about three weeks or so they are authorizing the appointment of an examiner in the these bankruptcy cases. So why do I think this is actually probably a good idea? There is a huge lack of transparency right now. Celsius is not giving over everything. And the US trustee has talked about this over the last couple of weeks saying, hey, we need more transparency from Celsius and they are not giving it to us. We may need to hire an independent examiner similar to what happened with the Lehman Brothers case and also with Enron where you're hiring someone specifically looking into Celsius. So that is the first thing I wanted to cover here, which leads me into the other points as well. The next talking about the US trustee is objecting to the professionals representing Celsius. So basically, they are rejecting the application for Kirkland, for Stretto, Centerview Partners, Latham & Watkins, Akin Gump Strauss, and Alvarez. So what they start out with this statement is saying that rigorous compliance with professional retention rules is critical to integrity and transparency required for the bankruptcy system. Here the debtors, Celsius, filed a series of professional retention applications and supporting declarations, which, get this, are not transparent. They talk about a lack of specific identity of many of the searched parties. The debtors are asking the court to grant the extraordinary relief of keeping the connections, literally the identity and relationship, sealed from other creditors like myself and other parties. So the U.S. trustee right here is basically saying, hey, we are seeing a lack of transparency and this is not going to fly with us. So now they're going over some bankruptcy rules, basically talking about whether a professional that is hired is disinterested or represents an adverse interest. These are things that we need to know. The rule requires that professionals disclose, quote, all of the connections with the debtor, creditor, and any other party in interest, their respective attorneys and accountants, the U.S. trustee, or any person employed in the office of the U.S. trustee. Essentially, no transparency. And the U.S. trustee is like, no, 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 this is not going to fly with us. They talk about redacting the identity of some confidential parties with whom the professionals may have connections. And this is inconsistent with open courts, open records, bankruptcy system transparency, and makes it impossible for the public to fully evaluate the retentions and disinterestedness. So guys, what we're seeing here is the U.S. trustee is a freaking hard ass in a good way. They are being like, Celsius, you are not disclosing everything going on right now, and we are just not going to let this fly as if nothing is happening. Also, they say that the professionals, meaning all of those legal uh, organizations that are helping Celsius, fail to fully disclose the identity and nature of the connections with the redacted parties. For example, Centerview's retention application, more than 75% of the information is redacted, as well as the debtors, meaning Celsius's top 50 creditors, were redacted. So the U.S. trustee does not like that there is just a lot of information that is redacted. And this does lead me right here into the next story. Basically, the U.S. trustee is saying, hey, we don't want all of this personal information redacted, basically not shown, when these schedules and statements and basically all of our information comes out. And this is a really fine line because the U.S. trustee is basically saying there is a lot of stuff being hidden and redacted. And when they come out with the schedules of assets and liabilities like Voyager is going to do or basically just did, they don't want all of our information to be 
uh, anonymous because the U.S. trustee thinks that they could be hiding some stuff that is very relevant to the case that literally goes against bankruptcy law. The issue is that all of our privacy is a very important, and I would be very concerned for a lot of people. Imagine if their name and their address and how much money they have with Celsius comes out in the public, that would be catastrophic for a lot of people's personal safety. I don't need to explain why because that's very obvious. A very rich person shows how much money they have in Celsius with their address, they're going to get attacked or there's a very high likelihood they will. But I get that the U.S. trustee does not want everything to be anonymous. There has to be that fine balance. And the fourth thing I want to cover right here is cash management. Basically, the U.S. trustee is like, is Celsius capable of storing our crypto? The U.S. trustee leaves the debtors to their burden to demonstrate, essentially, that they can handle the debtor's money, which may or may not include cryptocurrency, and essentially they can do so in a way that they're not going to screw up, they're not going to lose the money, they're not going to do anything illegal with it. The U.S. trustee is really getting on Celsius's case right now. They are saying... Everybody that they're hiring, all these firms that are costing us a ton of money, is this all transparent, right? They are basically questioning everything they're doing. Can Celsius hold our crypto safely, right? And also talking about when they come out with the creditors, don't redact information that is critically important to this bankruptcy case. So guys, that's basically it for the video. We have the next time they're in court to be September 1st. I have not heard about a call-in number, but if there is one, I'll let you know. And I will definitely cover that as best as I can. Right now, there is nothing we need to do. Again, we don't really need to file a claim right now. Just to repeat that, we are waiting for an updated claim form. I just posted a video on Voyager going over their claim form if there is a discrepancy. So essentially Celsius is going to let everybody know, let us know how much they owe us. And if there is a discrepancy, if there's a difference, then most likely we will need to file a claim, but I will cover that. But really what I want to finish this video off with is if Celsius is really going to be able to restructure and keep Celsius as their name and really stay in business. Right now the US trustee is questioning a lot of what Celsius is doing and just like basic fundamental aspects of this bankruptcy case. Now, what the bankruptcy expert Thomas Braziel said on Twitter and interviewed, I think, on Coindesk is that the mining part of Celsius is really their number one asset right now. Everything else is kind of like is there any value to the customers, to the community, which I don't really think there is anymore? Is there value to the Celsius name? I don't think so. Is there value to their connections with businesses where they were you know, giving out loans and doing all of that kind of stuff? I don't really know. But really, their mining is where Celsius has most, if not all, of their value right now. And there has been some talks about using a sell token or another token to basically give us the creditors equity into a restructured company. All of that is still in the talks, in the works. Nothing has actually been officially filed with the uh, UCC or with the court, but I'll definitely keep you guys updated if anything like that comes about. But really, it seems like with these documents I read to you today that the credibility of Celsius is just being chipped away, bringing on an independent examiner, basically saying, hey, we don't think you're doing things transparently. It just seems like the U.S. trustee is chipping away at the credibility of Celsius. And really, I feel that a Chapter 7 could be better. And just to finish this video off, in order to do a Chapter 11 restructuring, which is going to be Celsius's plan, most likely, which they'll present, it has to be very clear that us, the creditors, are going to get back more crypto, more money, doing a Chapter 11 plan than if they just liquidated everything. Because if a Chapter 11 plan is going to give me or you less crypto than if they just liquidated the whole business, then they would just have to do Chapter 7, guys. So guys, I will let you know the updates. I will keep you guys posted. Make sure to subscribe to catch the latest news. I'm committed to making these videos for you, even if I am in a random coffee shop. It's actually a really cool coffee shop, but I will make these videos for you guys wherever I am, traveling around the country in my van. And I know I promised to make an updated video on what the hell is going on with me. I still may in the future. Essentially, I am living in a van and I am traveling around. And that's the short of it. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Until next time, talk with you soon and bye for now.